It is not just on the field that the Packers are in a very good spot right now, guys. It is also in the kitty, in the bank. According to ESPN.com, they went through and they looked at each and every NFL franchise this season, and they told us how much cap space they have as we approach the trade deadline. The Packers, Chew, have $16 million, $16 million in cap space. Rob Domofsky put together the little uh, synopsis here. He says there's not a must-sign player on their roster who is headed for free agency next year, so the Packers could absorb a contract if they were to bring in a player via trade. They're also in a good spot with dead money on next year's cap, $50 million in dead money on this season's cap, and would only have $8.4 million in dead money in 2025. However, that could even increase if they decide to move on from a player under contract, such as Preston Smith. So sometimes we talk about how the cap will keep a team from making the moves they need to make. That is not the case for the Green Bay Packers. Given that knowledge, Chu, would you go out and try to get somebody to get this team one step closer to a championship this year? Uh, uh, hmm. The only position you'd do it would be a rush end. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you don't, I think letting Preston Smith go is a mistake if they trade him. And there's a reason why Lucas Van Ness, you know, Jason said they believe he has to play more. Well, there's a reason why he doesn't play more because he's not playing very good, you know. And they've been extremely healthy to this point. If you look at uh, the teams around the league, you know, Godwin's out for the season. Ayuk out for the season. Uh, Hutchinson probably out for the season. They, they've they dodged a bullet so far. But if they were to lose uh, one of their starting defensive ends, then they have a problem. The only position I would do is go out and potentially get, you know, not a Max Crosby or a Miles Garrett, but maybe a click down from that. To, oh, if, if they were – pass rush. I can't imagine they actually become available because you just don't trade a player like that. But if either one of those teams, too, loses their mind, if the, the Browns panic and go, oh, crap, we still owe so much money, we pushed it off to the future for yeah. Deshaun Watson, and they decide to trade Miles Garrett. Like, to me, that's that's if they had a guy like that on this team that could generate the pressure without having to blitz and you're, you're able to do the creative stuff that we saw last week from Halfley, but then also have a dominant defensive player you know, player of the year type guy rushing off the end. Do you have yeah. a guy like that? To me, they're super like your favorites in the NFC. If you if you find a guy like that, but again, there's a reason that Miles Garrett and Max Crosby don't become available is because teams don't trade good players like that. My only concern is Cooper Cup going somewhere uh, where he's really going to help that team. And, and I'm not talking Tampa Bay. I think Tampa Bay is a playoff team. I think they're very good. Uh, I think they're a little bit of a threat. I don't think they're a Super Bowl team. But if something crazy happened, like um, Cooper Cup goes to Minnesota or Detroit, if Detroit says, you know what, we're going to go the Aaron Rodgers effect in Green Bay in the middle of, you know, like 2014, where we're like, you know what, our defense is pretty good, but we're just going to outscore everybody. I know the chances of that happening are slim to none, but that would scare you. Like Kansas City getting... Um, Hopkins and Hopkins is on the back back side of it, but he he makes that team better, and oh, they're yeah. already pretty damn good. So that that that's really my concern. The other rumors that are out there, guys, are that the Packers should be moving on from some of the players. We mentioned Preston Smith, obviously that's out there, but I also saw an article that said that Eric Stokes is somebody that they should try to get something for. His snap count has gone down. Yes, you like having all of those bodies back there uh, as far as the defensive backs goes, but he doesn't seem like he is a consistent producer for the Green Bay Packers, and he has a high draft pick, high-ish draft pick, so could you get something for him, Gabe? No. He just played nine snaps for you. You you just advertise to the world you're not high on him. Like Maybe you get a conditional sixth-round pick. And to me, that's not worth losing the depth at that position. Because like Chewie said, they've been healthy. And last year at that position, they became not very healthy very quickly. So if something were to happen to Jair for a couple of games or something happens to Keyshawn Nixon for a couple of games, <laughs> like you want to have depth at that position, especially because, though, I mean, 
Detroit, yes, they're not going to have Jamison Williams when you play them in two weeks, but he's probably going to be there when you play him again You know, later in the season. You want to have as many good corners as deep as some of these teams in the division are with their weapons. Like, unless unless somebody loses their mind, like – I, I don't trade Eric Stokes for, you know, a conditional day three pick. Well, especially when you continue talking about how the, fr- the the defensive line is not getting that pass rush, but the bread and butter of this defense has been its ability to take the ball away, mm-hmm. which is obviously all of those guys in the back. To your point, you don't want to risk giving up that strength, you know, as you continue uh, with the schedule. 